Generic greetings and welcome back to Satisfactory. It's been a while since we've taken a look at the game and I thought we would check it out for one very important reason. As you can see, the factory that we're currently on is the one that we built over the course of several episodes a couple of months ago now and at the time it was a fairly advanced factory and I believe still produces the most advanced pieces of gear in the game, although not at a huge quantity. It's a fairly sprawling, expansive and at times a factory that looks like an explosion in a <laughs> conveyor warehouse as you can see it's very spaghetti like around here but it does function and work quite well however um, as I said I haven't uh, touched the game in quite some time that's because of sort of uh, I wouldn't say lack of content there's other maps and stuff that I could have tried and um, more things we could have expanded upon but um, certainly a lot of the technology stuff we'd already uh, sort of maxed out and such um, we've got geothermal power we've got trucks we've got oil systems we've got um, in fact the only thing that we haven't got really is a fuel generator and we didn't really need it with this and the geothermal in place but we do have the uh, heavy modular frames still or reinforced frames, whatever they're called up there. We've got computers over here. We've got quick wire. We've got all of that sort of thing on the go. We've got also... Um, these uh, big assembling machines here as well as some vehicle networks and it's the vehicle stuff that I want to touch on but not the not the sort of um, wheeled kind that goes in and around these paths here we are talking trains and locomotives electric locomotive freight car train station train docking station empty platform and tracks this is the experimental build as you can see from the top left and that's very meta it's an experimental build for a game that is in early access or uh, in production because uh, well, at some point we will play a game that's uh, not <laughs> still in development. But anyway, I digress. So, what we're going to do is take a look at these things. These have, um, as of the time of recording, very recently been released. In fact, I just saw the tweet about 20 minutes ago when I came in. And I thought, oh, we're going to have to give that one a go. So, this is all brand new to myself. So, this is going to be a bit of a learning one. And we're going to sort of uh, check it out and figure it out together. So, let's have a quick look. I've moved over to this area here, which is a fairly flat area. Now, I'm not going to be um, reconstituting a lot of bits of the factory. And I'm not going to be upgrading or changing things in and out of the factory. We're just going to make a line and see how it functions. Functions. So what we're going to do is open this up, and I'm assuming that the electric locomotive, um, it, I don't think it's a battery, I think it'll just be powered rails. So the locomotive is used to move freight cars from station to station, which requires between 50 and 80 megawatts of power to drive, I assume that's based on the weight of the cars. It must be built on a railway, yep, so we can't build it um, in the middle of there, yeah, so it's more of a, uh, is a monorail, uh, it says track, use track, transport trains, reliable, fast manner, um, wide turn angle, make sure you plan it out properly, okay, fair enough. So, this is for, as you might imagine, um, very huge, uh, well, it's a very large quantity um, uh, resources, so stuff that you would bring in a huge, huge quantity from elsewhere. You wouldn't use this for something that's very close, you wouldn't use this for stuff that you generally need fast, it's more about bulk uh, rather than anything else. So let's go for, well, let's, we'll read the train station. Locomotives can be set to drive and stop at the train station, okay. You can connect power to the station to power up the trains on the tracks as well as transport the power to other stations. Okay, understandable. So I guess that all connects together. So the track acts essentially like a, like a power network. So instead of having to run all of the lines like that, if you're going to transport it from quite a ways away, you could realistically use the track. At least that's what it's reading to me. We've got a train docking station. As freight cars stop by this, they will first unload what they have in their inventory and then load from the docking station. Now, so you can't do, you can't load and unload at the same time, which uh, I guess sort of makes sense. Docking stations can snap to rails and other train stations. Then an empty platform, which is an empty platform for when you need to create some empty space. I don't know why I would use that. Anyway, let's place a train station in here and already the size of it is quite impressive. Uh, I'm going to go over to this corner then. We're actually going to put it on the very edge just so it floats, you see. And that just makes it um, building a little bit easier. So we're going to place it um, probably, um, I think there should suffice. And as you can see, it's getting built and it is quite tall. In fact, well, what a surprise. A train station's big. So this is apparently where we can connect up some power. So I'm just looking around for the power connector. It's not there. And is it on this side? It is... Not on this side. Also, we can see underneath it, and it, this is the experimental build, as I mentioned. So, yeah, we've now got this in place. What we're also going to do, then, is place probably a docking station on this side, and it says it will snap to it, although um, that is... Oh, no, it is working there, so we will place it like so. Hang on. Why? Uh, a player is in the way. Okay, I am in the way, and clicky, and there we go. So we now have another section of this one, and... 
Yep, it's big one. Okay, so we've got this in place. Actually, what I'm going to do is get rid of this uh, burial nut thing and choppy. And I should have got some of those in my pocket anyway. And I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. Eat them. Uh, oh yes. Um, since I last played, I assume this is not the experimental build, but just in general, uh, you do have multiple inventory slots now, so we can do that. And yeah, it's a lot easier than switching things out. So this is where we got our loading and unloading. Yes, we can see the uh, loading is in. Oh, hang on, which is it? It doesn't rightly state. Um, let me just read that again then. Freight cars, uh, docking, docking station. The docking station snapped to rails. First, unload what they have in their inventory and then load from the docking station. Alright, well, there's a quick way to find out. That's in. And that's. Hang on. Ah, that's out. And that's out. Right. So, they're out. And they're in. Okay. Roger that. We now understand. So, let's get some rails built. Um, I'm assuming that we can quickly connect up with this here. We'll put a power pole there. And we'll say connect that to that. It looks like it just goes to a just point in the center out of nowhere. Doesn't really matter. As I said, experimental build. We're not going to be knocking it too much. That's why it's experimental. Right, so that's now connected up. We should be able to then build ourselves an electric locomotive. And yes, we can. Ooh, right, okay. I quite like the look of that. Yeah, that is definitely <laughs> an electric locomotive. Um, I like, the, I like the, uh, the look of it, actually. So the question is, can we drive it? Um, well, I'm guessing so. And, ooh, that's not E. So we are now in it. And, ah, you can see when I'm starting to move it, we've got these um, brakes, yeah. And it shows you the speed. It looks like, do you set the speed? I think you just set the speed. You just set the speed and it goes. Okay, that's fine. Um, also, it does, by the look of it anyway... Um, use more power. It draws more power based on the acceleration and things like that. So, okay, I think it's 15 if it's just on a general flat bit. Um, but accelerating up, you can see it uh, increased in uh, power usage. So anyway, well, let's go for the tracks here. So the question is, how do we build these tracks? Well, I can place that one there. Um, ah, and validate location. Ah, right, so it's built just like a... Well, that's pretty good. So it's built just like a... Um, it's built just like our standard conveyors. So what we're going to do is go to here. Um, we'll come up to the edge there. And we're going to go down and curve around. So you can see that the the angle of attack, essentially, is quite aggressive. Ooh, good grief. That'll, that's a, <laughs> that's more of a roller coaster than anything else. Um, so yeah, the angle of attack on the track is quite, quite smooth. Which is to be expected. It's exactly what it told us anyway. Um, so we can go, say, down to there and then down there. And I'm just going to make a big loop, really. That's all I'm going to do. That's my focus here. Just to get this thing um, going. Uh, it says valid aim lo invalid aim location. I want to do, obviously, some testing on well, like how sharp things can be. So, yeah, it will happily sort of glide over things like that. Uh, what we want to do is have it a really sharp corner now. So, yeah, you can see it's really sharp on that corner and it won't do it. So, there we go. Let's see, um, this is just to test it out. Just to see uh, what we're going to get now, a big straight piece. Um, actually, it's not straight at all. What we'll do is put that there. And then what we'll do is go, like, sort of straight up to the railroad is too long. And that should be about right. And there you go. In terms of the resources that it uses, um, it doesn't actually use many resources at all. In fact, as you can see here, we are using very little. We're using th seven pipes and seven girders. So you can make, you can make a huge rail, uh, a huge line for very little. In fact, when you consider uh, using belts for this, for what we're doing here, using belts for this would cost a hell of a lot more than. Um, yeah, this is actually extremely resource efficient, which is sort of pretty good. Um, there we go. Let's uh, go back, back down. And I want to put the tractor there. And we want to go sort of this away. Let's like, see, I'm trying to make it as 
I'm trying to go from like different types of terrain and different sharpnesses and sheerness on it. I assume that derailing is not a thing. Um, it doesn't state that it is, so I'm going to assume perhaps wrongly that that uh, <laughs> isn't the case. I don't think it will be. I don't think we'll have that. I don't think that's... Um, Something that's um, been aimed for, but then again, you never know. You never know. So this is where it's going to get a bit tricky because it's going to have to go up a fairly sheer um, hill here, and we are doing our best to increase it um, to go up here. And that's not too bad, but it's very undulating. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for platform empties, um, and we will connect these up like so. Can I not place that? Um, it won't allow me to place that. Why is that? Okay, maybe you have to put it on the other side. I'm not going to bother with that then. Let's go for, uh, do you want another docking station? Let's put another docking station on the back. And it will go on there, that's fine. Uh, that's about right. Okay, so we'll have the track then. Uh, just connect that up and then we'll see what this is like. So there to there, and that is technically a full track, apparently. So what we'll do is we will um, jump up here and get onto that. Now, because this is connected directly to the network, it shouldn't require any power. Uh, the problem with that is that, oh, actually power is quite good, so we should be all right. Uh, we're currently generating um, 1,500 megawatts, uh, but we're using 900. <sighs> By the way, today's beverage is an orange milkshake. Uh, orange milkshake? Banana milkshake. <laughs> right, okay, so uh, get on board. Uh, we'll press E, and what we'll do, we'll throttle it up. As you can see, uh, we've got this nice animation of the uh, motors kicking out, and oh, we're starting to glow. There we go. So it's fairly smooth, and it is slowing down over the uppy bits, and it will probably speed up on the downy bits. I wonder, do we have regenerative braking? I don't think we do. And oh, see that? It's all glowing on the back there. Now, this is a sharp turn. Ooh, yeah, that's a very sharp turn. Uh, we're still only using a total of 15 megawatts to do this, so I'm going like, to see how fast we can get this going. I do like the, the sound effects on it. Ooh, what the hell is that? Something's going on up there. <laughs> So we're set to 60. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna max speed out. Hmm. That should probably require some banking. I know in the trailers it did short banking, but uh, we didn't do that. I don't know if I had the option to, actually. So this is where we've got a fairly decent gradient. And it is slowing down. Oh, oh, in fact, it's not just slowing down. It's not going up. Right, I'm throttling up. It does seem to be... You can't just let it glide. I'm just going to max speed it. And let's see what happens. Seeing right. So I'm holding forward now. And... Oh, whiplash. Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I like the way that the engines are glowing and such. And the noise it makes. It reminds me of um, the hovering ships from the Matrix. Like the Nebuchadnezzar and stuff. It's the same noise. <laughs> Checking out the uh, bogies on it. They're quite good. Like, though they're, they're acting independently. That's quite good. And it doesn't take long. Put the braking on. And we've overshot it. Okay! And I like the way that the, uh, the top bit opens up as well. Let's uh, back it up. And... There we are. Right, so we have um, taken a little ride. It seems to be quite good. What we'll do then is we'll get a freight car and we will put freight cars on the back of this one to three freight cars. And it seems that they it seems that it's going backwards. Okay, that's a problem. Um uh, okay, E E forward for come on Um Forward. There we go. Creep back. Uh, I'm guessing this has the insert choo choo name. <laughs> this is the train route. So I'm guessing you can add different routes and it will go from one to the other. We will try that in but a moment. The problem that <laughs> I have here, I don't know if you can see, but at the back there, um, the back, this. <laughs> the thing's set so it goes off the edge. So I'm going to delete that one because when this is off the back, it didn't delete. It did not delete? Okay, apparently you can't delete them. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, as this was off the back there, it, um... 
<laughs> it was giving us some problems because it, it was go slowly going downhill and working its way back there. So we're going to go for another docking station. Uh, I don't have enough resources. I'm going to go back and get that. Because I need enough resources for a couple more stations. And what I am going to do as well is connect up some of this to that back there. And I want to see if we can load and unload stuff. So, so far, the speed seems to be quite impressive. The This is just first impressions only, you understand. Speed it seems to be very impressive. The resource efficiency is um, something I'm very surprised about. It took very little to make that track. And... If it does carry power like it says it does, it is pretty much the de facto thing to use when it comes to anything long distance. So I would um, probably automatically remove that there. In fact, see that uh, car that's going along there? Because that'll be pretty much full. Um, going up and around there, not only will carry the power, because we've had to run the power poles that way, you understand. Um, so having the train coming back and forward would probably be better. In fact, we could probably use a similar thing for the oil network over there. Anyway, I digress. So we need to go over here and get a little bit more resources. So we're going to go and uh, pick that up. And then we wanted some concrete, which, if I remember rightly, is down there. It's been a couple of months since I've even loaded uh, this save. So it's um, quite remarkable that I'm remembering where things are. Ow! Oh, it didn't hurt. Um, so we're going to pick a 1, 2, and that's fine. Let's just double check. So I can get another docking station, and I do want another train station. Uh, do you want another docking station? No, we want two docking stations, and we have enough, I think. E yes, we do have enough, but not... Hang on, we need two of those. We need some more mortars. Okay, I'll go back up now. There's no point in uh, coming back later on. Because what I want to do is have a loading station, an unloading station, and we'll have a mess around with the automation of the uh, of the train, and we'll see what it is like. So we're wanting mortars, which is up and around here, and it should be in this box here. There we go. I'm gonna pick those up. Still using the wrong keys for things. Still pressing tab when I mean to press Q. Still pressing uh, delete when I should actually be pressing E. But there we go. There's the crunch. That uh, didn't hurt as much as I thought. But to be fair, I do have the Blade Runners on. We do have the... Um, there you go, I told you. <laughs> we do have the gas mask and the jetpack. So we can go other places. But we just... Um, well, we haven't bothered. So let's go for the train docking station and it will connect up quite nicely to there. Oh, there we go. We can see the inputs and outputs there. Um, that's good. So we'll go over to here and we want to connect it up right on the back. But I think because the train is in the way, it's not going to function. So I'm just going to uh, pull this forward a little bit. The problem with that is this is a downhill grade. So if I get out... Yep, it's going to start a coast. Okay, I'm going to catch up to that later on. A coasting train is not good. In fact, any sort of unman... Uh, uh, what's even worse is a powered train with um, no people in it. And that was a good film, though, Unstoppable. I quite liked it. Den Denzel Washington and... Uh, was it Chris Pine? Yeah, uh, the Kirk fella. Yeah, him. Uh, right. The new Kirk, not the old Kirk. Right, there we go. So that's now connected up. And we will now run after <laughs> the train. Um, actually, you know what I'll do first is I will uh, delete that. I will then get the belt mark three and then come to there and then to there. And we need to split things up. Um, so it is merger splitter. There we go. So where's the innies? See, ah, see it's not showing the... Uh, the innies. They're the outies. No, hang on. They're out. And they're in. Okay. So we're just going to load in there. Actually, we should have done that the other way around. Uh, so, it's load. Load. And load. Okay. So that is loading into there now. So when the train stops, it should function. Um, It looks like it's slid back to here. Which isn't a big problem. It's also backing up. That would make sense, I guess, because the loco is actually the heaviest part of these. Although, mm, don't know. The dollies are quite heavy. So what we'll do is, over here, we're going to delete this section of track. And from this side, we're going to put in a docking station. I don't know whether it's going to connect up to that. What we'll have to do is move over. And we'll do our best to line it up. 
Although I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll put it in... Must be placed in line with another train platform. Ah, so we're going to need the train station first. Right, okay, train station first. The problem is that uh, I need to build it this way. So I'm going to have to place it... Um, where's the line? Where the, so the line's there. Right, so I'm going to hopefully place it about here. First things first is we will attempt to connect that up with the track. Right, yeah, the track's been very cooperative. Um, happy, happy. Uh, docking station. One, two. Um, and we did have to go for three, didn't we? But I don't have enough concrete. That's a shame. Okay, it doesn't matter for the testing that we are trying to perform. So that will go to there. Um, that's now sunk into the ground. Eh, it doesn't really matter too much. And then what we'll do is have some... Uh, it'll be logistics. No, it won't be logistics. Oh, we now have conveyor lifts as well. Uh, that's something that was added um, very soon after we finished the series where you lift things go up so you don't have to do the spiral. Although I quite like the spiral. I don't have any great problem with that. So we're going to go for some storage. Um, we'll place storage uh, in line with the outputs of these. So one there, one there. We don't have enough. So I guess we'll just have to have that so it's just for testing purposes you understand right so we are going to get back on board and we'll take another little trip firstly we'll see how fast it is um and secondly we'll see just if it uh, does actually function so here we go we're going to get in i'm going to hold forward and you can see the engines are um firing out and going so we've got good speed i don't know what them panels on the top are doing they seem to be sort of fluctuating away. You can see the uh, the bit on the back there, all of the carriages, not loaded in obviously and nothing on the top of them. Uh, we're going to go straight through the station not stopping, because we're going to go after that one there first. Round here, round here and probably throttle off That's why I get paid the big dollar. Right, okay, so we're in. So, um, right. So, question is, E, configure. Uh, hang on. Do I need to configure? I do need to configure. Uh, Lord. Set them all to load. Uh, load. So it's loading. Is this three sections? It is three sections. Let me just go around this side. It's easier to see. Need some more signage. Ah! Need some more jetpack too. Come on. Oh, and now I'm stuck in a tree. Right. <laughs> At least we've got some nice scenery. Um, so, E... Load, it's set to load. This next one, uh, load, set to load. This one, load, set to load. So all of those are set to load. Um, this one, we do have the, you can see we've got a train station here. Um, it does have a name. We can alter the name, but it looks like it's uh, randomly generating that. So I'm going to get into uh, the locomotive and just pull forward and stop. And I don't know how far we need to go, basically. Oh, hang on. Here we go. So, we've got clamps that go on there. Right, I see, I see. And then that loads the cargo container on the back. Right, I see. That's... Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And that goes off. Right. So, I guess we can... Throttle forward. Ah, see that? I'm putting I'm putting throttle on and it won't allow me to move. So it does lock the train in position while it's doing that. It didn't give me any alerts, but I'm again, I'm assuming that's something that will be uh, added in the future to say that you know, loading, unloading in progress, etc. So we're going to go to the other side now and by default it should be set to unload. So it'll take the entire cargo container off. But what I want to do is apply some breakage. Ooh, that's a bit rough and ready. <laughs> um, there we go. We're going to stop here. And I want to check 
Uh, yes, I can open the inventory and we can see we've got some of that uh, ore on the back there. So back on to driving this thing and we'll see just how, just how accurate you need to be to load it up. Does take some power in the? Does it, it's, I don't know if it. I don't know if it's my perception of it or whether it is genuinely slower. Um, it could just be perception because it's. Uh, a little air bricks come on there because of. Um, it could be my perception of it just based on the because uh, of the length of the train. Right, so that's not doing anything at the moment, but we'll probably set it to unload. Ooh, that's just that's just all kinds of bad. You don't do that normally. Um, e, it's going to set to unload. And unload. And we'll say break. It's getting it right. Let's see if we're lined up. Um, looks like I have to back it up a bit. No? Okay. Is it just me messing it up set one load and it's set one load and we do have stuff on that and it has storage so it would do it anywhere okay I'm just going to try and back it up a little bit and try that just one thing I want to check um doesn't really matter. Jump pad. And power. It requires power, so... Yes. So, that is a good thing as well. So, this entire line is electrified. I mean, you can tell by the lights anyway, but... Uh, well, I guess there's lights on the belt, so... That doesn't really give you much of an indication. But yes, this is electrified. So, this here is not connected in any way, shape, or form to the rest of the network. Um, with electrical cabling. It's j or any power poles. It's just solely... Um, through the rails, which makes perfect sense. Right, okay, I'm going to get in this. I'm going to press um, C and go to the timetable. I'm going to add a timetable. Um, add... Actually, can I add a couple more? Actually, you know what? I'll probably, it'll probably be best if I... If I just use the train station here. So, we'll say timetable. Locomotive timetable. We'll insert that one. Um, insert choo-choo name. Okay, timetable, add, add. Uh, there we go. So, that's the first, that's the second. And you can add multiples and also alter the positioning of these as well. Speed, it doesn't tell us. Power consumption doesn't tell us because it's not currently working. Um, oh, hang on. And there it goes. Oh, that's cool! That's awesome! <laughs> it's it's breaking, and it's got it's got the proper uh, carriage braking as well, not just the train front end locomotive braking. I must confess, the audio is the standout so far. You can hear it clunk clunk as it's going over the. Uh, of the ties. Actually, there wouldn't be any on this one, but you can just hear it. It just sounds really cool. Oh, 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 but the AI's letting it down. No, no, it's still going. It's still got a bit of power. Go on, put your boot down. You'll be all right. Won't explode. Let's see what happens when it gets this bit. I wonder if these all start arcing and sparking. The wheels don't go around. Oh, but it does break. That looks... That looks really good. I really wish I could see it, but I'm stuck in the same tree again. Right, okay, you know what? I've had enough of this tree. It can do its own thing. I'm just going to cut this tree down, just in revenge. Goodbye, tree. Right, so, <laughs> let's get back. Uh, we can see that it is loading up. So, it is loading up. And, oh, it looks like it's unloading. So the question is, oh no, sorry, that's not unloading, that's just the other stuff going down there. And that's not, that's not, that's now going to head off. I wonder 
if it knows what it's loaded and what it's unloaded, as in, you know, will it load up what it's just, will it load, or will it unload what it's just loaded up? I don't, I assume not, but I mean, you never know at this stage, do you? I love that breaking. This is why we put all of the little extra bits in to see what it was like. Is it coming along? I'm not going to test whether or not I can run you over. I'm guessing the answer to that is hell yes. Let's get ahead and see if we can get it coming at the station because it'll break just after this little hump. It is throttling quite well. That's so cool. And we're in. A little bricks come on. And yes, it's unloading. It is unloading. Um So I can't actually touch this. There's no um, interaction option for that while it is loading and unloading. If that's gonna unload. I'm gonna jump off it. There shouldn't be anything to load onto it. Um, it's not done anything. There we go, there's the resources. So it takes a little while for them to spawn there. Alright, there's it's all happening and sparking as it comes out with that one. And that one is full. So the only question, I mean there's a couple of little niggly questions I have. The main one is what happens when it comes to loading and unloading. I'm not going to test that really because um, I'm going to assume perhaps wrongly that it sort of knows what it's doing. Uh, it seems to function <laughs> for the rest of it. So I, I assume that if I for example, have two different resources. It knows what's uh, coming in and out. Although, how will it store it? Would it even work like that? How, how does it say it works? Hang on. That might not even be a, a problem. Unload what they have in their inventory and then load from the docking station. Okay. So, would it unload to the inventory and put it here and then load everything else that's in it? I assume it Mm, again, let's not assume. It's, I know assumption's a bad thing. But um, maybe it knows what's in and out. But yeah, this is experimental version. I'm not going to... I don't really want to learn too much of it. Because if, it, they might, if they change it, it just gets a bit confusing. There's... Um, you can see the different machines working there. Picking up the uh, cargo containers and then coming down. We're going to... Um, have a look over here. See what it's like when it's... Because it, it, it really does sort of break and arc and spark when it comes over this bit. Because I'll be loading shortly. Well, so far, I have to say, nothing but functional. <laughs> yes. And the noise it makes as well. And I assume if we jump back in, it'll just um I really I'm really tempted to jump in front of it. Ooh, risky, risky. <laughs> so I wonder what the length of the train can be. I mean this is only three cars. We can probably add quite a bit. E. Yeah, you can just change it. I'm assuming when I jump out, it will stop. Um, holding. Yeah. So. If I cancel that and get out, it'll probably start working after a little. Yeah. So it just starts going. Um, I'm gonna go to freight car and attach one, two, three, four. <laughs> well, I've attached another four to it, and well, it. <laughs> I've attached four to it, and the only reason I couldn't put any more on is because I'd ran out of resources. And yes, to answer the other question you may have, you can ride it. Um, it's not safe, but uh, you can ride it. Anyway, that's been a bit of satisfactory looking at the new train stuff. I like it.
not just because it's trains, but because it does fundamentally change a couple of things in the game. Uh, power transmission and high, uh, I guess high density slash um, high resource count transport. Um, obviously some questions have to be asked when it comes to the speed of it. Like, is it, if you've got a certain amount, when does it become viable to build a huge rail network rather than just building a belt? Um, I couldn't answer that. I guess for, say, the oil network, which is about two kilometers away, I think. Um, would I use it for that? Hmm, I probably would. Simply because the resources at the moment to construct this in this this for the construct the con to construct stations and construct the rails. It was considerably less than the huge amount of belts that we have to place in the first place. Because, um, I mean, let's just... I mean, well, we saw that what how much it costs for that little bit of rail. And it means you don't have to run uh, belts and transport stuff uh, and, and power transmission stuff. You can just run this. Obviously, if it's a high-priority stuff, then you'd have to have the express trains coming really back and forward and it does take up a lot of room. And more importantly... And something that can't really be um, understated, it is an advanced piece of technology. So you're not going to be able to get this from day one, are you? Um, it's trying. Oh, look at that. It's totally glitched out. <laughs> What's happened is, because the rails here, because these rail, uh, these carriages here are on the back, the, the coaches have pulled this back over. The wagons have pulled it back over, and um, it tried to load, and it didn't function. Unless it did actually function, and it's just not telling me. No, it does seem to have... I don't know if it has or not. Either way, it has now stopped, and um, I think we need to put it in for a service. <laughs> anyway, that's been a bit of satisfactory once again, checking out uh, the experimental uh, build of the game and looking at the train stuff. Very impressed, very happy to see this being added, not just because I'm a fan of trains and locomotives and uh, monorails and other such things, but also just because I think it's going to... Um, just It just adds a lot more, not just, not just in terms of flavour, um, but also... It's just nice to see inside the factory, and I think for like the high density stuff and whatnot, it's going to be uh, quite decent. It also means that you could realistically set it up with multiple carriages and have um, a, like a factory that's elsewhere doing other things, and you you ferry the resources to it, and each carriage has different stuff. So there's a multitude of uses, and it um, yeah, it fills in that gap from basically in between the it's belts you could do like that very very um <laughs> very very difficult to have a long a long version of that unless you're just spending a hell of a lot of resources and obviously the trucks and the uh, wagons are um the good but they also uh, are not greatly fast they have to follow um they have to follow the land unless you build an entire road network which is just no <laughs> not that efficient um and obviously they are uh, they don't carry a great deal Anyway, I'm sort of rambling on now. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed the video and this little look at the train stuff. I will be checking it out when it comes to the, uh, I'll say, full version. But the when it's not in the experimental build, I will um, check that out and give it a go. I hope you have enjoyed the video and this little sort of quick look at the new train stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. Oh, this is going to hurt. Take bets. Ah, half health. <laughs>